flying down the field. So Matthew Young has put this ball across to Burke, to Peckett. This is where St Kilda are good running that ball. This is Hudson receiving from Winmar. Max Hudson looking down here for Darrell Wake it off. Beautiful football this by the Saints as he centres it. Oh, should be a mark to Heatley. No. Good spoiling down there by Seacamp. Well, it's kept in play actually by Sirikoski. Here's Mitchell and Thompson. Mitchell again. Sirikoski trying to break the tackle. Heatley might kick a goal. Oh, good pressure by the Demons. White went in hard after it. Still Mitchell a goal. Quick step. And you were banging those boots, Roscoe. Right boots come. stronger than we thought. Campbell mops it up well in front of Longmuir. Ozzie Jones. Winmar, who's been very productive so far at right centre wing. Over the head of Hopgood. Kicks up towards Everett and Ingerson, and Everett bids him to take the mark. Very good mark by such a tall player under enormous pressure then. Might have looked easy, but it's certainly not. Oh, Heatley has marked 50 metres from goal. Two options there, Pete, too. It's too low. He is a very accurate kick for goal, and he can kick them from well outside 52, which is a bonus. Well, we've uh, tried the mozzie. Let's see what happens to Heatley. A high floating kick. Look at that right through the middle. Yeah, he's deadly accurate, that's for sure. Who do you think? Around the medalist. 97, three best and fewest, five all Australian, three wooden medals. He'd like a premiership to add to that CV. Never at the target, big pack of players, the snap is there, it's a goal. Nathan Burke. From the point of view, it doesn't come back to sting them on the tail. No, uh, well, I still think they'll win the game. There's Zilla trying to push his way through, but oh, here's a goal coming up to Lappin. Races in easy as you like, another one. And once again, just the numbers. Second quarter at the MCG, the difference is 28 points. The D's goal was so far. Four separate goal kickers for St Kilda. Overcast conditions, and any lead with uh, a heavy shower of rain you'd think would be enough for the Saints to take the points. Good block by Burke, shuffled out by Thompson, chance for Steins, who started on the bench, a holding decision according to the umpire, and it's going to St Kilda. The recipient of the free kick is Thompson. Thompson to Harvey, on a young, the former Hawk. Young's kick, and he travels about 40 metres up uh, just inside 50. <laughs> Leon Chelly dispossessed. Bugoni, another kick taken by Zilla. Heatley, strong, right next to the behind post. One of the Saints goal kickers in the first quarter, but on a pretty acute angle. We spoke about his kicking prowess in the first term. Let's see if he has a shot here. Difficult there for Marcus Seacamp. He came over the top of the pack uh, to spoil the ball away from Stewie Lowe, and Heatley just dropped out the back and uh, got a bit of a break on him. So Jason Heatley for his 26th goal of the season on the club's goal kicking last year. Will he run around or will we have a shot from there? He's going to run around. He might have got it. Crowd seems to like it. He likes it. He's got his second. It's certainly an easier shot at goal, Pete, to be able to do that. And Peter McKenna, I think, would agree with me that uh, having a shed shot from such an angle to be so uh, correct as you would have to be to get a drop punt through, just to step out one or two steps and then quickly drop the ball and bend it back is certainly an easier option. Yeah, certainly, you know, I think uh, not nine times out of ten you should run out and snap. I think you'd agree, Jamie. Yeah, well, uh, probably not going to ask me, uh, Peter. You've kicked <laughs> <laughs> how many goals you kicked, but a hell of a lot more than that. <laughs> how many is it? Uh, well, I've got, I've got uh, the Roy Orbison at the moment, the Globe. So <laughs> the big O. The big O. So back to the centre, but I must say about Heatley's kicking, he's just so relaxed kicking for goal. Here's Harvey getting his hand pass in as usual. The young, quick kick taken by Saul. Oh, he might have been off, Steve. Phoebe, yes, umpire's called play on. Good umpiring, he ran off the line. Number 40, you see there, is Bradley. Boy, oh, kick to a contest. Uze has marked. It'll be a 50, I think, Pete. No, just a chat. So Adam Uze has had an outstanding season. He and Stephen Phoebe have been very good across half-back. Guy Ragoni, who is a booming kick, is at half-back at the moment. But they've got to start firing up forward. Get it to their forwards. Uh, look at that kick. Beautiful. 60 metres to the half-forward line. The Saints defenders get back. Jimmy Steins has got it. He bends it back. They want something to happen here. 
can Lyon get there? No, he can't. It beats him through for a behind. Peter, I think one of the most significant aspects of St Kilda's game, especially in their forward line at the moment, is the quickness of their tackling. I think they've contributed to that kick going down towards Jason Leatley that Gavin Mitchell pounced on a Melbourne player. The ball spilled free and allowed the St Kilda forwards to move the ball up towards goal. Very dangerous. Younger Harvey, Ward stands the mark. Again, they bring it down to the centre. Winmar from Peckett. On to Thompson. On to Burke. Tackled by Johnston. Must have been close to holding the ball. The umpire lets it go. Johnson to Hopgood. Rigoni. Hopgood again. Ward needs to be quick. Thompson's tackle. Just ineffective as it was late. And off the hands of Heatley down there was Gary Lyon. Just quickly, Pete, the reason that wasn't penalised was he attempted to hand, Burke attempted to handball the footy. Sorry, oh. Jamie. I was going to say to Jamie, I saw a match that you played earlier in the year, Jamie. I think you had, uh, you did have a shot for goal, didn't you? Did have a shot on goal. It was against Port Adelaide and uh, the uh, wind, weather and, and a very tight <laughs> jumper around the neck all conspired to make me miss. Okay. <laughs> nothing, nothing to do with the kicking style or anything like that? No, that probably didn't help, Pete. <laughs> it's all right, Jamie, I never kicked any either. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Ward, the kicker of that behind, so Melbourne still goalless. But certainly not out of this match by any stretch of the imagination at the moment. Although, as I said earlier, if it does rain, that lead is going to be uh, made to look a lot better than it is now. Campbell. Everett, Hopgood, good bump. Everett's too big. Lappin. Aussie Jones has got a good turn of speed. Approaching 50. Still Aussie Jones. The hand pass back to Lappin on the left. What on one duel. Sirikoski lets it go. It may bounce through. Lowe's got it. And he's kicked it. Yes, yeah, so and once again, just the preparedness of the secure players to run forward and assist. Peter Everett on the half back line couldn't quite gather but just kept at it. Turned back, grabbed the footy a second, got the handball up, just set uh, Ozzy Jones up. And as Jones ran forward, we see this Jones the recipient. Mitchell came through to, to give the shepherd off on Phoebe. The hand pass was just touching the inside there by Ingerson. Again, just the numbers. And Stewie Lowe possibly could have let that go. I assume he did make contact. Well, we give it to. Well, it's, it's contact's on the line. We'll give it to low, I think. I think we give it to low. Three lows. The lows have it. So, centre bounce again. Really, Melbourne have to get something moving in a hurry as Thompson brings it forward again to that talented forward line. Oh, Peter, and it Zilla just has taken the mark. What about Spider Everett in that ruck contest? And he flicked it over with his right hand. And also the silky skills with him able to get that ball through the heavy traffic there. Yeah. No, no, his no, ruck work has been fantastic this year, uh, Russell. Absolutely sensational. He's been working with uh, Crackers Keenan, of course, who's the guru of ruck coaches down there. Stephen Zilla from 35, well, 40 metres, in fact. And he has kicked the goal. So that's his first. And the Saints go marching on. 7-6 to four points and Neil Danaher. Well, after last week, he'd be a very worried man at the moment, Ross. There's no doubt a uh, number of thoughts be going through his mind uh, with matchups, where he becomes just very defensive and just tries to uh, stem this flow. Stephen Ziller able to take an overhead mark and become the sixth goal kicker for the Saints just into this second quarter. Stephen Ziller's 11th goal for the year. They've certainly got some firepower and killed it. Big lead by White and Everett. White wins it at the second shot. Knocked back by Johnson, picked up by Burke. Burke's kick up the half forward. And a good mark taken by Bradley. Matthew Phoebe. The centre wing. Viney. <coughs> Steins. Been alright since he came on, Jimmy. The other thing for Melbourne, too, but if it does start raining shortly, this lead uh, will be even more difficult to pet back. Well, Wood has got his hand up for one of the goals of the year. Matthew Phoebe. Thompson. Greatly improved player Thompson. Well, the umpire's down low, sees the ball punched away from him. Mitchell has a ping at the goal. It's going, it's going, it's there. He's kicked his, he's kicked his second. Yes, an umpire's Steve Bernie just getting a bit too close to the contest. So just, just throw in. Just inside 50. Everett to Burke. Burke off a step. Steins again. Been pretty good since he came on, Jimmy. Getting some kicks. 
Didn't direct that one as well as he would have liked. Steven Ziller on the end of it. He drops a little bit short. And that's OK. Well, must have bit the second portion of this quarter by the Dees is a lot more productive oh. than their first turn. That'll be a free kick. Yes, well, he was was crunched. Yeah. CK. Yes, sir, Koski there just really did interfere in the back. Whilst the contest oh. was to the ball, you can't just interfere and oh. clean him oh. up like that. That, uh, They both hurt. That hurt. Well, Sir Koski himself crunched earlier in the, uh, in the match. Winmar gives it to Burke. Burke straight down the centre of the ground. Ozzy Jones always elusive. Clear of Leon oh. Celli. Oh, great effort from Seacamp. This will be a goal. Heatley takes it from Mitchell and puts it through for his third. Now, Jamie, once again, you, know, you understand that situation when you're two out against a, or one out against two opposition players. It's terribly difficult to stop both of them. He did. It was a great effort in the first place, Tony, for Seacamp. Just watch the build up before. Uh, We'll bring you into this. It's a good kick by Yazzie Jones to set uh, Widmar up. Seacamp did very well to get a fist on him, not to interfere. But here, what do you do here, Jamie? You've got to go out to him, don't you? You yeah. can't just sit back. Look, he's, a, he's in a difficult situation, as you yeah. say. It was an excellent effort to get back there and, and uh, create the contest in the first place. But he just needed a bit of support. Yep. Well, the lights are on. The people are going for their coats. Are raining yet, Russell Morris? No, but Peter, you can just feel it just about to spring up. The wind's blown right up, and everyone's. The seagulls just... have come. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to pour down very well. Let's shortly. hope you don't get wet down there, Russell. Oh, yeah, thanks, Pete. <laughs> so 9 7 plays 2 5. White cleverly the way Wayne with Thompson chips in. It's given further field by Zilla on the wind bar. Beautiful kick. Well done by C Camp. Certainly hasn't been disgraced down there. He's really battling hard. Mitchell. And here's the kick around the corner by Heatley. He's already kicked three, but he puts it out before. So Jason Heatley was a star footballer in the Diamond Valley with pretty tough side North Heidelberg. And then he went across to the West Coast, and some say he didn't really uh, get a lot of opportunities there, Pete. I think that's pretty fair. If you come from North Heidelberg, you have to be able to play and look after yourself. What about West Heidelberg? Uh, we're <laughs> all gentlemen <laughs> there. <laughs> I don't think I'd like to line up on one of those. Six and a half minutes to half time. The Saints by 44 points. Everett and Steins do battle. Thompson. Ozzie Jones. He was out. Was the ball out as well? The boundary umpire says yes, yes, yes it was. Yes. So we throw in in front of the now inappropriately named smokers stand. No umbrellas allowed now at the MCG. The MCC following the lead of similar grounds, Adelaide and Subiaco. A little bit of a push by Stein. The umpire says that's OK. Ball kicked up the centre wing. Hudgeton just inside the boundary line. Heatley, double team. Oh, to Everett. Does it like a rover, the big fellow? Kicks out in front of the goals. Zula has to duck back. Just won't quite be able to pick it up. Uze. Pressured by Zula. Now it's out of bounds. The umpire says throw it in. Between wing and half forward, 17 plays 61. Just in that previous bit of play with Peter Everett, it just shows from the team rule point of view, if you're in the right spot at the right time, at front and centre of that pack, no matter if you're, if you're 5 foot 10 or 6 foot 10, He's still going to get it. Low and Stein. Steins has used his body well a couple of times now in those boundary throw-ins. Here's Winmar. Oh, the kick not so good. Taken by Uze. And from a standing start, that is a very good kick out in front of Viney. Terrific play by Uze. Viney looking for someone to give it to. Chips it across. Finds Roe Woden, who's doing pretty well. Off he goes. Brings it in short. Oh, Mark dropped by White. It was probably just a fraction too high. Still at 50 metres, taken by Harvey. He waltzes away onto the left foot, brings it to the centre of the ground. He saw low coming. Wide is Ozzy Jones. Now, this is danger for Melbourne. Jones, a beautiful left foot kick. Everett. No, he dropped the mark. Oh, you would have uh, thought he'd swallow that one, but uh, just a little bit of pressure and... Uh, Good desperate stuff, though, Pete, by Mark Bradley there, just to really get a hand on and upset uh, Everett the first occasion. 
Watch this. Just gets a hand on the arm of Spider Rick, which is the best thing you do in that situation. And then a second effort to dive without dragging the ball under. Good stuff. So the big spider to contest the bounce. You would have had your name on him. Taking that one. Steins beats him. Rigoni finally did get a kick in. Harvey ships it out in front of goal. Thompson, one of the Saints goal kickers this year, 10 3 against his name. Mitchell makes a lead, makes a plea. <laughs> Thompson's going to have a shot himself. About 51 metres out. Breeze turning around. Ball coming back, I don't think enough. One behind. His first score of the day. 9-8 to 2-5. We've got four minutes remaining in the half. I was going to say, which Phoebe is that? No one's Steve. <laughs> <Yes. Wait laughs> yeah, we know it's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got Steve. that one glove on over Michael Jackson's. Uh, he probably kicks him too. He more because of the lot. injured thumb. Oh. Steins. Got a hand to it. Sirikoski playing a great game. They're trying to set something up here. Hot good, taken down. Didn't appear to have the footy. Umpire lets it go. Thompson again. Burke onto Heatley. Snap from the pocket. Punch away by Ward. Doesn't quite clear the zone. Steins. Well, Jimmy's been very oh. brutal since he came on, but only to see Everett go down in the tackle. He comes out towards centre wing. Johnston, Campbell, leaves it for his teammate Ozzy Jones. Oh, beautiful kick by Jones to Heatley. Bit stiff there, Melvin. The, the short kick coming inside from Jenny Steins just found the back of his teammate. Then the Travis Johnson did the right thing using his pace to get in front of Campbell, just overran the ball. And then uh, two on one, this is where the ball finishes up. Well, Heatley has kicked three. Now, we have sung his praises about his kicking. I said he's the uh, best kick for goal in the league. Now, this will really test him out. It's a difficult kick. The wind Just swung around to the west, Pete, judging by the flags on top of the yeah. scoreboard. And uh, the swirling breezes will not be easy, but you'll bet he'll be pretty close. There's the kick from Heatley. Have a look at that. Magnificent kick. Yeah, it does make a hell of a difference, but doesn't it? If you've got a forward like that, if you're getting limited opportunities, and uh, with Jason Heatley up front like that, kicking as accurately he has for his fourth. Just this is Travis Johnson here, just doing the right thing, but then getting over the ball, going one hand, overrunning it. Ozzy Jones backing up his teammate Campbell and spots the other teammate Heatley and watches his kick. But also, Roscoe, I think the, um, the fact that Jimmy Stein's running through the middle of the ground continues with that short chip pass and gets well, Melbourne you, into trouble all the time. Well, if you're going to come inside like that, you've got to hit your target. And a running target on your non-preferred foot going to the centre is a difficult kick. We saw Barnes and White run at strange angles to the bounce last week. And Sirikoski getting around on a little bit of an angle here now. <laughs> Comes at White. Maybe he was watching Barnsley. Interesting tactic. Hopgood's kick. Winmar had to stand underneath it and wait. Harvey flips it out to Young, brushes one tackle. He's made every poster with us since he came from Hawthorne. Everett in front. Good block there by Bradley. Playing only his second game for the D's. Heatley on top of Bradley. And it's all tied up down there. We will see a bounce. Amazingly, it's not raining yet. Waiting for the siren so I can come up out of the rain. Uh, we've locked the door. Burke, always busy at the bottom of the packs. Johnson will get a mark or free kick, you'd reckon, for that. Number one draft pick in the national draft last year, Travis Johnston. This is Matthew Lappin. Zilla calling for it. Heads in that direction. Good players there, none can bring it down. Woe Woden pressured. Snap, not bad. Off target, or is it a goal? Zilla. He's got it. Well, 
was Luke Burke being busy at the bottom of the pack since probably Melbourne's best player in the first half. Straight down the throat of Everett, though, who marks a bright half forward. The big spider. Well, the web would be wet today. Everett's kick right out in front of goal. He'd be on. That's a great wet weather mark. Wet mark for anywhere. He, uh, with the ball being not quite so wet, and uh, you know, he's probably got a dry pair on. Uh, after the break, it's certainly been an advantage. He's kicked five. Brings it in short. Too much pressure on the player there. It's taken by Luke Beveridge. Beveridge drives it to the half forward line. Heatley playing in front. Beautiful skills by Heatley. Well played. On to Thompson. Thompson drives it low and goal. It's going to skid and bounce through. Brilliant play. It's a clever kick, but just knowing that the yeah. Yeah, Paul Hopgood to centre wing. Sirakoski puts a bit of pressure on. Lappin is there. He's got support from Zilla to Harvey to Sirakoski. Oh, he was looking up and took his eyes off it. Back to Harvey. Harvey gets his boot to it. Oh, low. Or stood his ground. Bradley came flying over the top, but low had his name written. Physique, and he, he does use it well. He holds his ground well, and... Uh, it was a great effort by young Mark Bradley, but he just couldn't quite get there. There's the kick. It's a goal. So the Saints, oh, they're doing it on the bit at the moment. And Big Stu is Campbell from Cottawa Rutherglen. Winmar has had a particularly good game. Hand pass could have been better to Campbell. Everett. Doesn't seem to be overly affected by the conditions off the hands of Stewie Lowe. Tries to get back quickly. Went without it the second time. He might get a third shot at it, Stewie Lowe. He does. Bends it around. Kicks it out in front of goal. Marking contest down there. Ward. Snapshot by Jones. Close. Have to wait on this one. I think he's kicked it. He likes it. It's there. Stated earlier, he came from the amateurs, he's tough as nails, very hard at the ball. He's kicked a goal already, Everett in front, Mark, too tall, too good. Big spider will kick from 15 metres. Uh, here's the kick, oh, he's hooked it. We'll have to wait on the goal up by here. No, he's got it. Today, big leap by White, Sirikoski at the base of the pack. Winmar's got it, now Brown. Second kick after coming on. Jones on the burst. Loves these. What acceleration from Ozzy Jones. Bang, and he puts it through. Sure. Summed up pretty well. Saw Danny Corkin there sitting on the bench with Steins, who limped off. Zilla gives the hand pass away. Kick by Matthew Lappin. Up towards half forward. Like a skating rink out there. Mitchell tries to go off the ground. Zirkowski looks for holding the ball decision. The ball shuffled out the back of the pack. The umpire's given the free to Melbourne. Yeah, paid for a throw, Pete. The yeah, Steins and Zirkowski uh, collided in the middle of the ground at that last centre bounce and both came off uh, worse for wear, but Jim Steins has had to come off and Zirkowski's still living himself. No, not quite. Healy kicked 12 goals this year. Not a bad sort of a roost with the wet and greasy ball. Gee, that's a beauty. What a kick. Cross half back. Mark taken by Big Elliott. Keen to get into the action. Couple of marks so far. Transfers it out to Healy. Healy from half back. Ward punches effectively. Gergic can't get it to a teammate. The Saints with numbers. Kick comes in, Ward. And the mark, well, not a mark really, Uze. Finally kicks up to the unattended Young, who's just been everywhere in this last quarter. Now, looking at that, you would say that is a push in the back. And the reason being, Pete, the first action was to push in the back, the second reaction was to mark the footy. They weren't, it wasn't one continuous attempt to mark the ball. Beveridge, Thompson had made a lead, he didn't see him. Goes into the pocket, and the big spider. Goal four is kicked today, one of tenths have killed the players to have kicked goals. Distance should be a problem from there, 35 metres out. Not a bad sort of an effort, he's kicked his second.